The teen rushed to find a steel hose. Then the propeller motor on the speedboat was removed. The propeller was attached to the end of the hose. Then the wires were connected to the motor. And that was it. An oversized unblocker was created. The woman puts the propeller into the blocked spout. As her teammate starts the propeller. Soon the propeller is spinning at high speed. The blockage is broken up. As the discharge volume increases. The pressure level of the dam drops instantly. The motor in the hands of a teammate. Suddenly fell into the drainage inlet. The motor flowed directly into the drainage system. The two turbines of the drainage system were instantly dried up. Only one turbine was left to drain. The speed was not enough, and it wasn't long before. There was a roar. The walls of the control room. The water started to pour out of the wall. This is the end. Oh, my god. The dam won't last five minutes. Everyone's going to be flooded. The men said maybe we could try to create a tsunami. To create a tsunami. To make the water in the reservoir flow back upstream. Just set a powerful bomb underwater. The shock wave from the explosion of the bomb would create a tsunami. So the woman puts the powder, which explodes when it hits the water into a box, and then freezes the powder with liquid nitrogen. Her teammates make a casing out of soluble soda. After the woman puts the rubidium powder into the shell, the two men go to the center of the dam. They use the infrared laser to mark the drop point on the surface of the water. The teammate gives an oops. The teammate throws the bomb as hard as he can. The woman questioned the man. How can you be so weak for such a big man? As the two men look on in horror, there was a loud bang. The river formed a huge wall of water. The water rushed upstream. Eventually, the pressure level of the dam dropped to a safe level. Tens of thousands of lives were saved.